Over 8 million people in the UK today are living with unsustainable debt. Years of austerity have seen wages and benefit rates stagnate while the cost of living has increased. This is leading people uh, to just struggle to be able to afford even the basic day-to-day -day needs and leading to a high level of destitution. People get into debt for a whole number of reasons. It might be a relationship breakdown, it could be ill health, someone in their family might be unwell and they have to give up work to look after them. Other people suffer from mental health problems or just a sudden change in circumstances that they're not expecting. Sometimes people have changes in their benefits and while benefit changes are recalculated, sometimes they just stop paying the benefits and people are left without money while things are resolved. What happened was, because we're both on benefits, and so when I moved here, we had to change our benefits over to make sure we were on the right side of the law. Well, the benefits all stopped. <laughs> as soon as we went onto the benefit system to change our benefits over as husband and wife, that's what caused the trouble, wasn't it? Yes. And we didn't know how to get out of it. We really didn't know what to do. So I used my credit cards to survive and live. We had no other choice. I just got myself in such a pickle, basically, and I had nowhere to turn, basically. And uh, I suffered with depression as well. And uh, it just got to the point, you know, I didn't know where to go, basically. I really didn't know where to go. Debt leads people uh, to become quite fearful and quite anxious. Um, often it's not a one-off situation that they just have debt. They might have a whole number of things going on in their life that just leads them to a point where they can't manage their money. We just didn't know what to do. We were locking the doors thinking some of the bailiffs were going to come. But if I had known what I was doing, racking up that kind of debt, I would never have done it. But we had to live. And unfortunately, it cost us through the, the nose, yes. didn't it? It was awful. Yeah. Absolutely awful. Yeah. Absolutely awful. It's, it's horrible. It's the worst feeling in the world, basically. It is the worst feeling in the world, you know. Um, not knowing where, you know, where your next bit of money is going to come from. Are you going to pay the debts? Um, you know, worrying if there's going to be bailiffs turning up at your door. What people need is someone to walk alongside them, to guide them, to give them the best advice and to help them every step of the way during their journey out of debt. Christians Against Poverty, or CAP, is a national charity that works across the UK in conjunction with local churches to support people. We offer a free advice service. We help people identify their sources of debt to look at their financial situation and decide on the best means out of debt for that individual. It's not just to support clients in getting out of debt, but it's also to help them live their best life. Here at the Devizes Debt Centre, we do this in a variety of ways. Some people can't afford food and we help them with parcels from the Devizes Food Bank. We support other clients with help with their benefits. And again, we can offer support with practical things or with individual items that they might need. Recently, we've been able to help someone get a bed who didn't have a bed or provide baby equipment for others. I got Kat's number, basically, and uh, got con contact with Kate, and it just went from there. I think for me, I just tend to put my head in the sand, hope it would go away, but it never did. So... It's a horrible feeling, but it's, it's, you know, I, I had to deal with it at some point. Being in debt is often linked to social isolation and low self-esteem. It's really important, therefore, for us to build close relationships with our clients to help boost their self-worth. My role in CAP is to help to help our clients um, and I'm sort of work as a befriender. So that involves just building up trust with our clients, helping them to, to know that there is hope, that their situation can be improved and things can get better. And quite often with debt can come some level of isolation for people because they don't, they don't talk about these problems to other people. So they don't always necessarily have other people to talk to. 
to be a befriender, you just need to be really patient. You need to have a real heart for people and you need to have a very non-judgmental approach. It's all about the client. There's also some more practical things that need to be done. Sometimes you might need to help phone a creditor to find some information out or to help search through bits of paper to be able to find necessary information. Sometimes it's about going out for a coffee or just having a chat. It's about building a relationship with someone and helping them be a, become part of a community. Clients I'm working with with Kate at the moment, um, we obviously don't give names, um, is struggles with reading and one of the things I've been helping him with is to read documents to help him to understand uh, some of the documents that he's been getting and um, it's been a privilege to be able to help him to understand what's going on around him. 28% of CAP clients have considered or attempted suicide because of their debts. They felt that that was their only way out. But there's always a solution and there's always hope. It's not always easy, but for anyone that's brave enough to try, we will walk alongside them for as long as it takes until they're debt free. I would say to anyone that is considering becoming a befriender for CAP that it has just been so wonderful to do. I have got to meet some wonderful people who have built trust with me. I've been able to see them improve their situations. I've seen them gain their emotional self-worth and have hope. It's been absolutely wonderful and it's been a real blessing to be part of CAP. I have someone to work alongside me basically. I find it a lot easier. I find it really a lot easier. In terms of commitment, uh, time-wise, it's not great. It's not huge. Being on the end of the phone for, for clients to call me, I will try and call the client I'm dealing with once a week to make sure he's okay for food um, and that he's, you know, he's, he's stable and, and, and happy. And I would really sort of welcome other people to join in because it is a very rewarding and important role in the church. Debt is often just the tip of the iceberg in a far more complex life story. Through the work of CAP, we're able to show God's love and shine his light into darkness and despair, to turn anxiety and fear into hope for a brighter future. We've paid every single penny back. Yeah. How does that feel? Oh, Marvellous. A weight off our shoulders. It's gone now. And we're never going to hope and pray to God we never end up in that position ever again.